Hey, what's up, YouTube? I'm back today with a new video. I um, hope you enjoyed your Father's Day holiday. And today we're going to create a video. I'm going to create a video and show you guys how to use one of my favorite tools. It's called DIR Buster. And what this is, is this is a URL fuzzer. And what a URL fuzzer is, it's kind of like it does a, it does a brute force dictionary scan on you know for on a website where you take DR Buster and you take a list and uh, a list of um, words that you want to search for to see if these directories exist on a web server and potentially files with these names as well. And I'll show you how that works. It's pretty pretty simple to use. Um, if you have Kali Linux installed already, then it's already installed. You don't have to install it. If you're not using Kali Linux, which I recommend you do, if not, then you just need to you need to manually install DIR Buster. They do offer a version for Windows um, that you can use in a Windows environment. But for this demo, I'm going to show you how to use DR Buster and Kali Linux. So I'll load that up now. All right, so we got Kali Linux here. Um, and what we're going to do is we're just going to go to the command prompt. You can go to the command prompt or you can just navigate and go um, here, type in DR Buster and load it that way. I just type it in, hit enter. At this point, you just minimize this window. Um, and this is the uh, OWASP DIR Buster. All right, it's pretty simple. Um, just a few options. You're going to leave the defaults for the most part. Um, but the first option is you need to set a target. So in my case, I set up a, a fake website called clientwebsite.com um, for this testing purposes. So I'm going to type in the URL. This is my client's website. I'm going to do a, I'm gonna perform an audit uh pen test on his website to, or this client's website to make sure there are no security configuration issues no vulnerabilities um, you know files out on the website that shouldn't be there and that, that type of stuff so we'll type in www.clientwebsite.com that's our client site we're going to leave the number of threads i leave it to the default but this if you want to run fat you want the scan to scan faster then you can increase the threads here. I leave it on the default. All right. Um, the next thing, um, so we, we're going to do a list-based brute force scan. Brute force scan, and what that means is it's going to read through a list, and I'll show you a list here. So here, here's the list I'm going to use it's called directory list. This is a default list that comes with DIR Buster. Um, for this, for this case, I did add a, a particular word that we're going to scan for. But if I open this up, you'll see. But it's just a list of different names and it's going to scan it's going to scan your website clientwebsite.com forward slash cgi bin it's going to website um, clientwebsite.com forward slash education forward slash betsy it's going to check all those directories to see if they exist if they do then it's going to show you in the results also dr buster is only it's not only going to scan for directories but it will also scan for files so right here, you're going to add a file extension. So during the scan, it's going to look for Betsy.php, accessibility.php, or you can change this .text or .zip or what have you. And and what you'll commonly find, you might find, is you may find backup files, um, zip files, things like that. So let's go select our list. And this default list that comes with um, DR Buster is located under user forward slash user share I'll go over to dir buster word list and then I'm using this list right here you select that all right and that's all set all right so the next options are do you, you we want to the default option is to check for new directories um, and to check for new files and to be recursive what that means is if it finds a directory and then it's going to scan inside that directory also to look for other directories and other file types or other hidden you know files so with this all set on the default i'm going to hit start and you'll know a scan information it tells you it's scanning and blah 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 and the progress and you see here it's scanning secure forward slash blah 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 whatever dot php is scanning different directories and um, we can go here now to see the results and you'll see it found a home directory forward slash and then it also found a directory called secure this is something that I created um, just for this test so if we right click on that and go open in the browser you'll see 
said, okay, on my client website, it found a, vault, a directory called secure. Here's the page, you know, we, we're not supposed to see that, but DRR Buster exposed that. So that's one example of finding a directory or a hidden application that is in a, a folder that not linked to from their homepage or anywhere else, so that matter. All right, so we'll go back here. We see I found a few of things. Uh, this is a 403, that's not, it's no good. This is 200, means it's okay, but it's got that double slash, 403. So these are not valid. 200, if you know your response codes, you'll know 200 is okay, and 403 is not okay. So um, we're looking for 200 responses. But, and also for this example, I'm gonna hit stop, and I'm gonna go back, and I'm gonna change the file extension type. Same list, but we're gonna tell it, tell DR Buster to scan that site and look for file names with the dot text extension like this. And I'm gonna hit start. And then we'll notice, hey, we found a new file named secure.txt that you probably shouldn't see. And then look, super secure text, the text file. Same thing for other file types. We can put zip here. Hit start. Oh, look, we got a zip file. So you get the point. It's running through this list and it's looking for directory's name after the words that are in that list and it's looking for file names that are named after the words that are in that list, and that's how DIR Buster works. So, heads up, you shouldn't be scanning anyone's website that you don't have permission to scan. This tool is uh, it's going to leave your IP address in the log files, <laughs> all over that web server's log files, so you, you shouldn't scan someone's site unless you got permission. But this is how DIR Buster works. I've used it in the past you know, for audits and you can find things like hidden backup files that, you know, like I said, the web admin shouldn't have uploaded or shouldn't have uploaded to a directory that's publicly accessible, things like that. Different misconfigurations that you can find with DR or Buster that I think is kind of cool uh, for you guys to know. All right, so I hope you liked the video. If you liked it, go ahead and hit the like and subscribe button and I'll get started creating you guys a new video. All righty, thanks.